Hey Jags, welcome to the Path of Travel video for Gregory High School. I'm so excited to bring this to you. That means you're coming back to campus. So this video is designed for you to know how to navigate campus from going from class to class in a safe manner. It's really important, so I need you to pay close attention as we go through this Path of Travel video. The first thing I need you to understand is the overall flow of campus. Once you understand that, it'll help you navigate the rest of campus. It pretty much turns our campus and hallways into one-way streets. So it is like a giant loop around campus, going from N building to L building to C building, all in a clockwise direction. So all hallways are one way, so make sure you follow the arrows, and we'll cover that in detail starting right now. So if you take any of our buildings, N, L, or C, that all have two stories to it, most of the classrooms are found in these three buildings. You must enter the class building from the left side. So if you're looking at the N or the L or the C, no matter what building you're looking at, if you're looking at it from the outside, you need to enter from the left side. Now, if you're going to make it to an upstairs classroom, you have to enter the far left door. We have two doors on the left sides of the building, but the far left door of N and C to be able to go upstairs. So as you walk into the buildings, you'll notice there are clearly labeled entrances. Also, when you walk in, you'll see arrows on the ground facing the direction of flow of traffic. If you're going to head upstairs, this is the door to enter, and you will head upstairs that direction. If you walk in these side doors, make sure to walk down the hallway that direction. Do not come against the flow and upstairs through that door. Make sure you come in through the far side door and follow the flow of traffic up the stairs. Let's see what it would look like if we had a class upstairs. We'd head up the staircase. This is a one-way staircase as well as the hallway. Notice the direction arrows on the ground. Also, in the middle of both buildings in and C, there's center stairs. These are for up only. There is no going down these stairs. To go downstairs, you have to go to the other end of the building, which is the only exit going downstairs. This is to create a one-way uh, traffic flow throughout the buildings uh, to keep everybody safe. So as you enter the building to your class, and then when you leave, you need to stay that same direction. Even if your class going downstairs is really close to an entrance staircase, don't be tempted to go down. Walk the entire length of the hallway to the other end to go down the stairs on the appropriate side. Now let's see what it would look like to walk downstairs. Again, this is a one-way traffic flow all the way through the downstairs hallway. And there is an option to go upstairs in the center. If you have a class more towards the center or the farther end, this is an option for you. But again, follow the direction arrows. And you can continue down the hallway. You can either exit through these doors or continue on, merge with the students that are coming downstairs and head out the door on the far end. Now let's see what the L building looks like. You can enter through one of three sets of doors, but as you enter, there are directional arrows on the ground. Make sure you follow this one-way directional arrow traffic as it horseshoes around the building. There is only one exit to the building on the far right side of the L building. This is where all upstairs and downstairs traffic will exit the building. Now let's see what the upstairs L looks like. We go up the one directional arrow staircase, again following the direction of the arrows all across the hallway. Just like the lower part, it does horseshoe around the building and this traffic flow needs to say this one direction. As you get to the other side of the building, there is the other set of staircase that will lead you down the stairs, again one directional, and as you get to the bottom of the stairs, the exit will be to the right. Now let's head over to the C building, see what that looks like. As you walk in the hall, just like the N building, it's a one-way directional arrow. The same setup for upstairs and downstairs. Again, the center staircase is for up only, no going down the stairs in the center. As you progress through the one directional hallway, the exit is on the other side. This will allow you to navigate to the other buildings to go to your next classes. All right, Jags, that wraps up our video. I just want a really quick review. Between our N, L, and C, these are all one directional arrows. They all go one way inside the buildings. Again, if you're looking at the building from the outsides, 
you need to enter on the left side and exit to the right. I know that this uh, will kind of slow things down and we'll try to do our best to accommodate in passing periods. But I know I'm looking forward to seeing you on campus. I'm so excited. Uh, we need to do our part to keep everybody safe. So make sure you follow these directional arrows so that we can have the least amount of contact as possible between classes. Also, I want to make sure that you watch the other videos that we have to inform you on lunch, um, wearing masks, the safety guidelines, our schedules and cohorts. Each one will have its own video, so make sure you tune in this series to see the other videos so that you know what to expect when you come back to Gregory High School. I'm looking forward to seeing you on campus, and just remember what Mr. Gregory used to say, I never expect more of you than I do of myself, but I gotta tell you, I expect a lot of myself. Have a great day, Jags, and I can't wait to see you on campus.